Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to convert an AIF file or a WAV file to MP3 really easy on your Mac or PC. On the Mac, if you go to the Apple App Store and go up here to the search bar and search for right click MP3, there's a really cool and easy to use tool um, called right click MP3. Right now I have it installed, but if you go there now, they sell it for $6. And for $6 and the ease of convenience and how fast it does it, it's a no-brainer and a definite tool that you should use uh, alongside with your audio recording. So let me show you how it works. So if you go to the Applications folder and open up right-click MP3, the only preferences that you have to set is the bitrate. I think when you install it, it defaults to 128. But when you're doing MP3 conversions, it's best to have the highest quality. Um, so we'll choose 320 kilobits per second. Um, side note is if the higher you go on the list, the bigger the file size. Uh, but the bigger the file size, the more clarity and less compression. But for this uh, example, we will choose 320. And I will show you how it works. So right here, I have an AIF file. If I right-click it, on the very bottom is a new action menu. Um, it's called Convert to MP3. And to use this application, it's super simple. You just click Convert to MP3, and you just wait a few moments. And it will convert it to that 256 kilobits per second MP3. Now what's also cool is it'll do WAV, as I mentioned earlier, and it'll also do batch MP3 conversions. So if you have a batch of AIF, WAVs, um, or any other formats out there, it'll convert it no problem. So that's how I convert a WAV or AIF file on the Mac. So there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial on how to convert AIF files, WAV files to MP3 on your Mac or PC. Um, subscribe to me if you want to see any more audio-related tutorials in the future, um, Logic Pro Tools, or just any other tips. More videos are soon to come.